This is the Vac Checker from DD Compound. It's a precision, full-scale digital vacuum gauge specifically designed for the composites industry. It's particularly good at performing very rapid drop tests on vacuum bags or establishing the performance or condition of your vacuum equipment. It has a major advantage over traditional mechanical gauges because it allows you to do these tests in much less time. A traditional drop test might take 20 minutes to half an hour with a mechanical gauge. This will allow you to do the same test in under a minute. It's a very simple vacuum gauge to use. The main vacuum is displayed at the bottom here and you can switch that between a variety of different units. And then in the top corner, we've got the boiling point of water, which will change depending on the vacuum level. And that can also be toggled to display the current ambient temperature. It also has a backlight, which you can enable and disable here for those of you who like to vacuum bag in the dark. Connecting this to a vacuum bag or vacuum equipment is very straightforward. It comes supplied with three hose tails, a six millimeter, eight millimeter, and 10 millimeter. And that allows you to make a single sided connection. If you do want to use this in line, and that might be on a semi-permanent installation or directly between the pump and your bag, we sell these as a separate accessory. So a pack of three, and that will allow you to put another hose tail on the other side and use the unit directly in the vacuum line. So here I've got a conventional infusion setup. So our vacuum line is being drawn from this side and then this is our resin feed. And typically with an infusion, you would just connect the vac checker up to the inlet line. And if I release the line clamp, straight away we can see the vacuum. This has already been pulled down. So we're already reading a vacuum level of 52 millibar. If you're not familiar with the millibar scale, that's a thousandth of an atmosphere. And if you imagine this being a mechanical gauge, you simply wouldn't be able to distinguish this between full vacuum and 52 millibar. It's quite difficult to tell between 5% on a mechanical gauge. So straight away, you can see that the resolution is giving us much more information straight away. So you can see now, as the vacuum's drawing down, the boiling point of water that's displayed in the top corner is also reducing. And the reason why this information is useful is that you know that as the boiling point approaches your ambient temperature, that's when any moisture that's trapped inside your laminate will start to dry out and off gas. And very often you'll see that the drawdown rate of your bag will reduce at that point. So it's very useful to know that because it might prevent you from hunting for a leak that doesn't exist. Performing drop tests is really where this piece of equipment comes into its own. Typically, with a mechanical gauge, you'd be clamping off, walking away for 20 minutes, and then coming back and seeing if there's any appreciable drop in the reading on the gauge. But because of the high resolution that we've got here, that drop will be read much more quickly, so much so that you can see it in the course of a minute and assess whether that meets the tolerance that you can accept. If we wanted to change the scale that we're reading, currently we're in millibar, that's my preferred reading, but if we just press the set button, we can scroll through. We've got millibar, tor, millimeters mercury, inches mercury, inches water, micron, pascal, and hectopascal. And then we also have the option of changing between Celsius and Fahrenheit on the temperature reading. One of the main differences between the vac checker and many other digital vacuum gauges is that this gives a full scale vacuum reading. So it reads from no vacuum right the way up to near absolute. Most of the gauges that are out there are intended for the refrigeration and air conditioning industries. And they're only interested in the very top end of the scale. And the gauges simply don't provide any readings until they reach that point, which obviously for composites wouldn't be much use. That's the vac checker, and although it's not a completely essential piece of equipment, as drop tests can equally be performed with a mechanical gauge, you can clearly see the time savings that could be had in a professional composites workshop. I hope you found all the information in this video useful. If you are left with any questions, please ask them in the questions section on the product page.